Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to chapter 10 of Land of the Night and the Heroes of Seven Worlds. But we've come, become a rather large group all of a sudden. With this number of people it's, on the contrary, harder to move around. We should reorganize our party. All right, come follow me. We can use a portal. All right, if we use this, then we can reorg. We can organize our party. This should be good. All right, let's escape from here. That would be best. We have to reorganize our battle plan. The interior of the castle and its complex design, as well as the large number of monsters, and furthermore, the stronger than we expected allies that are fighting us off. Even if all of us heroes are collected, it'd be reckless to continue searching inside the castle. Um, I've got a bit of an idea. Before we leave the castle, would you listen to it? Hmm. You seem to have a good an idea in your in mind here. Come to think of it, this castle came from your guys' world, wasn't, didn't it? Before we get out of here, there's someone I'd like to bring along with us. I'm sure that in the battle against the Lord of the Night, the Lord of Dreams, she'll come in handy. The Mao Gilgorn. She's the Mao from our world. Oh. An other world Mao, huh? In that case, there's no mistake. Her power will be useful. Well, setting that aside, would this Mao actually help us? In fact, on the con contrary wise, might she, might she not be on the side of the Lord of Dreams? That's not possible. The Mao Gilgorn should be should be opposed to the nightmares after all. If we're fighting against the nightmares, she should help us. Probably. And I see. This Mao, where would she be? Actually, this demon castle was originally the Mao Gilgorn's home. In other words, it's the place of the. It's the. It's the place within the Mao's dreams. Well. Due to a variety of events, right now she's been completely taken over. The place has been completely taken over by nightmares, though. So this demon castle, when it transported, should have brought its master Gilgorn along with it. Even regarding its location, though, according to what I've heard, it's probably in the deepest part of the castle. She shut herself away, this Mao, in the deepest of the castle. Just what happened? 
Well, various things. Anyway, why don't we invite her to be our ally? Hmm, yeah. I agree to this, too. If she's called a Mao, she's sure certain to have battle power that we can count on. Though, while I say this, the Mao that I know, Hikawate, has a really bad, has left a really bad impression on me. Well, the more people on our side, the better. And the stronger, and the stronger they are, the greater the welcome. Looks like nobody has any objections. So, we decided to head over to the Mao Gilgon. So that Mao is within the deepest part. In that room where we saw the elevator, could we go down? Oh, bad place. To think we'd be going back there. If we continue on along the path to the south, we'll get to the room where we can descend into the depths. So, let's go. Alright, let's go meet the Mao Kilgorn. The Mao of the other world is said to be opposed to the nightmares. If we can add her to our companions, she should be a big help, a big power for us. While still being cautious, let's descend into the underground. In the deepest part, they say the Mao is waiting for us. Oh crap! Since my party just changed all of a sudden, I'm stuck with my old party, which, quite contrary to my usual, is filled to the brim with encounter increases. So let's take off those abilities. I can step over here. The way I usually handle this is through these. The Zetsuma, the uh, anti-magic, anti-monster armlet will prevent all encounters. And it's easier to switch on and off than, than the other stuff, the abilities. I showed you some of this last time. Well, all of this last time, wasn't it? And here we are. There's no elevator in the shaft. Just a hole heading down. So, from here we can get into the lower floors, but the uh, necessary elevator isn't here. The gargoyles don't move, and the elevator isn't here. This demon castle is missing a lot of things that ought to be here normally. Probably because the summoning of the demon castle wasn't complete. It was summoned with only 95% energy. Thanks to the work of Lest and Nobisa. Well, if it weren't for the work of Lest and Nobisa, this would have been much, much worse. Those two managed to halt the complete, the complete summoning 
So yeah, if they hadn't, it would have been that much worse. In any case, we have to descend via this hole. Do we have some kind of rope or anything? Why don't you use my vines? They're pretty sturdy. So Olympus extends her vine down into the depths. As long as it's the body weight of a human, it can easily support it, but just one person at a time. There's a pretty good distance down there. This is maybe a bit scary. Okay then, leave this to me. I'm used to this kind of thing. So, Bjarkanin grabs onto the vine and lowers himself just like that. He's quite the nimble type, isn't he? Well, don't know what to say, he really is used to it. I have descended. The next person, come on down. In order that the vine doesn't waver, I'll support it from beneath. Hey, <laughs> and he tries so hard too. And that's how we descended. Ahead of here, we should find the Mao Gilgorn. Mm, a ribbon. You don't get very many of those. Now let's see the other scene on here. Could this be this place? But there's already nothing here. Let's continue to search the castle. Maybe this is something from their game. Or something we'll do later. Well, look at that. A secret door. The cracks around this place. Ruling crown. Okay, before I do this... Actually, I'm going to reload another save. Because I want to show off. So, I'll be back in one second. So, let me just open this save I prepared ahead of time. First of all... Here in the dictionary we can find, and contrary to very easy, the difficulty I've had it on most of the time, I've set it on Paradox. And executed a few other things. Quite a few other things, really. Anyway, here we go. No matter how long I wait, I do not wake. And even more than that, it seems that reality and dream is mixing. Further the floor further, the flow of magic energy is clearly different than it was before. As it is, it seems as though I've come to another world. Damn those vexatious nightmares. What have they done this time? You're a Mao. Aren't you just a girl? Well, appearing all of a sudden and uttering such rudeness. What of you? What are you? I'm the Mao, Alice B is the 16th. You're a Mao. Aren't you just a girl? But I shouldn't be surprised. You, your power has been sealed, isn't it? And I see, you understand with a single glance. 
Now I can see that you are plenty experienced in this. I also know the, ri the reason why you all have appeared before me. I see. That makes the conversation quick. Then, along our side, let's fight. Have at the other world, Mao. I'm going to defeat you. I won't lend my hands to the plans of the nightmares. Hey, wait, that's not right. We aren't your enemy. I won't hear it. This is a plot to f a plot from the nightmares to fool me. I will not be fooled so easily by such a such a charade. So the Mao Girgorn isn't going to be lending her ears to what we have to say. I wonder if something happened to her. Uh, pretty bad. To make her so suspicious. Well, aside from the fact that it's in the dream world, if we fight the way we have up to now, we don't have a chance of winning. But, through certain information we've gotten, Gilgal Gilgorn is very is very weak against pleasure attacks. <laughs> I already have completed a countermeasure. With this wall of reality, before this wall of reality, your pleasure attacks will not affect me. For one instant, a defensive field looking thing appears, but before we do anything, it disappears. A wall, you say. It doesn't look like there's any such thing. Oh no, now I've done it. Wait a bit. Wait up. My adjustments for working it in this world aren't complete. Well, I don't know what you need to complete, but it looks like now is our chance. If that's her weakness, then let's focus on pleasure attacks. Fine then. Even without the wall of reality, there is no problem. In this world that is close to reality, my power, I can properly use my power. <laughs> Whoa, such amazing magic power. With this kind of power, we can't hope to win in a full on, in a front on attack. In that case, we don't need to do a frontal attack. If it were me, I would seal up her movements first. So they're suggesting status effects, I suppose. I will teach you what the true power of the Mao is. Come, all of you. Throw down your lives in preparation. Prepare to throw you down your lives against me. Yeah, you don't know what I've prepared. I've prepared to one hit you on Paradox difficulty. Good night. That took quite a bit of preparation. Which is why I did it off camera and just made a new save for it. But anyway, here we are. <laughs> Once again, I've fallen like this. 
we're out fighting against the nightmares. For the sake of defeating the Lord of Dreams, would you lend us your power? Why didn't you say that earlier? We did tell you, from the start. I understand. I'll lend you my power. And teach the nightmares a lesson. You're completely spent, aren't you? Let's have you rest. Anyway, with this we've secured the, uh, the cooperation of the Mao Gilgorn. This is very encouraging, isn't it? Is it? Or is it? <laughs> well, truly, her power itself is incredibly vague. But as weak as she is to pleasure, can she fight against the nightmares? Hmm, how about... She fights them from afar, or something. Well, let's discuss our plans for battle later. Let's just hurry up and get out of here. Yeah, we really should. Let's hurry and retreat. But, it'd be kind of a pain to go by the route we came here. By the way, what is this crystal? That's an interference interference device that I created. If we use this, we could return to the first floor portal. I see. That makes it easy. Okay. Let's execute the teleportation. And we operate the teleportation device. Since we're back here, it's just a little further to the entrance. Alright, let's hurry and get out. The castle gates are already before our eyes and noses. So for the moment, let's get out of here and rethink our battle plan. It can't be that easy. I'm gonna get ambushed on this screen. Or this screen. Or not. See if I care. Somehow we escaped to the outside. So then, let's hurry with our battle plans. Everybody, come to the Pocket Mao Castle. So Alice pulls out the pocket Mao castle. It's a, such a small castle, but we can enter into it. What a strange device. <laughs> yes, it's amazing, isn't it? So we all together go into the Mao castle. And we start our battle plans. So then, other world heroes and your companions. In order to save this world, we've all gathered here. Well, we were called here against our will and all. So, in order to get back, we need to save this world. But, even if that weren't the case, we couldn't just overlook the situation in this world. And anyway, it looks like it's the work of Est. The Lord of Dreams came from your guys' world in the end, didn't she? Her, na her name is Est Morun. According to what we've heard, She's a nightmare as well, 
wielding incredible power. Of course, we can't fight her using anything except pleasure. Quite a powerful presence. We're going to defeat her and then destroy the gate connecting the worlds. If we do that, then we win. But, in any case, is it possible to destroy the gate? It probably won't be easy to affect using physical means. We don't know where it is or its properties or anything. And we desperately escaped. If we desperately go into the uh, into the demon castle, it'd be pretty reckless. I didn't think that it would be that big in there. It's far bigger than the Daimyo's castle. I too am sorry for suggesting it. Well, well. It can't be helped if you didn't know the full situation. And furthermore, if it had been fully summoned, it would have been too late. The ones who prevented the demon cows of summoning, Lest and Nobisa, it's thanks to their efforts. Well, you're very welcome. I'm glad it was of use. I'm feeling really diminished here. Afterwards, I'll make a a personal apology. So, thank you. So, forgive me, Elise. There's no wrongdoing in the ones who are manipulated. The various kingdoms, kings and queens also have been manipulated too much. There's no way to, for me to save face in this incident. There is no need to be worrying at it. Those who call themselves kings are truly, truly come into their own after getting brainwashed a time or two. Yeah, Ground Gold was brainwashed some time back too. Brainwashed Rulers Group. <laughs> Welcome to the Brainwashed Rulers Club. How about we make some matching t-shirts or something? San Ilya. King San Ilya. Well, whatever he's got to say, I don't care. These are the kings of four great countries. This world, it's hard mode. Well, let's return to the topic at hand. We need to even if it's groping around, find the location of the gate. We're going to have to, at the very least, wander around with our investigations. And possibly beat information out of the people who have emerged from it. And more than that, a problem is how to destroy the gate. Even if we do find it, there's no meaning if we aren't able to destroy it. So the question is how we destroy it. How should we destroy the gate? If there isn't a way to destroy it, 
No matter what our battle plan is, there's no meaning. Oh, great. Ta -ta! If you're worried about that, don't worry. It'll be all right. Blah! It's the rabbit again. The white rabbit, huh? Are you saying there's a way to destroy the gate? The way is... The collab proof! If the seven heroes fully release the power of the... of the crests, then they should be able to release a power that can destroy the gates. The gate. The collab proof. So the purpose of this crest is that, is it? So with the power of seven heroes, we can destroy the gate. And we finally got our hands on all of it. There's one more thing that you should know. In the deepest part of the demon castle, there's a very important room. Perhaps it should be called the Magic Power Collection Room. Inside of it, there's a certain thing that is there collecting magic power to maintain the gate. There's a thing, you say. What is inside of that room? It's me. The me that was put to sleep by the Lord of Dreams. It's the origin of the whole problem. One white rabbit. In that case, then we need to finish off the white rabbit in that room. No, don't kill her. Me. If you just wake her up, that'll be good. If we wake up that white rabbit, then the magic power collection will stop. That's how it is. Yes, yes. In that case, after that you can destroy the gate. In that order of operations, then this world will be completely back to normal. So then, in the depths of the demon castle, we need to search for the magic collection room. With this, what we need to do is decided. And what we need to do in the demon castle is decided. But more than needing to drive on into enemy territory. It seems there could be something simpler. What we need to consider next is a plan of attack on the demon castle itself. It's a well-fortified castle and inside there are, are tons of nightmares and monsters, other monsters. In addition to that, there are the members of the Alliance. If we go in with a half-baked plan, we're not going to stand a chance. How about the the soldiery of this world? Can we count on them for any support? With nightmares as their opponents, they'd be wiped out. There's nothing they could do. 
all the armies of each country can't fight against those kinds of existences. <laughs> Even if we gathered all of the battle fuckers of the world, there simply wouldn't be enough of them. Hmm, how should we approach this? Hmm. For a small period, brief period, everybody grows quiet. I've got a good idea. Next one speaking was Luvisa. She and Ralph come from a world that has nightmares in it. Furthermore, she and he and she have fought against nightmares themselves. I said this as well when we introduced ourselves, but I am a fragment of a Mao, and I have the power to fight against nightmares. I could temporarily give that power to the Mao Gilgorn. Since she's a Mao as well, our powers could have affinity, I think. I see. But speaking of her, where is this Gilgorn? She's sleeping restlessly in her room, shivering in her sleep. Against the pleasure attacks we used against her, she's completely beat. Ah, jeez. In a state like that, can she really stand against nightmares? In that case, not standing against them is will be fine. Just from a distance from them, the demon castle, she'll fire off attack magic. Since she's got so much magic power, the demon castle itself will be badly damaged. Of course, it can't be avoided that many of the inhabitants of the castle will be injured as well. I see. So we're going to be bombarding them. If Gilgorn gets her hand, can get Luvisa's power with her indomitable magic power, we can attack the demon castle from outside. In fact, with that much magic power to throw into it, we might call it bombing the place. So, putting Luvisa's power and Gilgorn's power together, we can reduce the demon castles of rubble from the outside. Good plan. After that, we can infiltrate the naked castle interior. Hmm, that's not bad. Probably the Lord of Dreams and the Alliance will be uninjured, but if we can infiltrate the castle like that, that'll make it better. That'll make the plan easier. So with the Mao's magic power, destroying it from the outside. This is a pretty bold siege plan. It's flashy. Sounds like fun. Mm-hmm. Isn't that a good plan? 
I agree to it too. Oh, you're still here? Just leave already. Jeez, aren't you being a little mean? I said I would not interfere and I've been supporting you in very and I've still been supporting you in various ways here. This is all of it your fault in the first place. I'm not at fault. Stubbornly refusing to acknowledge responsibility, it seems. Everybody uh, stares at her a bit coldly as she disappears. In, in any case, with this we've finalized the battle plans. When should we execute them? Since the appearance of the Demon Castle, the corrosion of the Land of the Night has continued. We don't have a lot of time to spare. So, today, rest your bodies up, take all the time you need, and tomorrow we execute the plan. That's what I'm thinking. Is there anyone who has an objection? It's moving pretty fast, but there aren't any objections that come up. Already there's hardly a moment to be sparing for this. Everybody understands that. So then, the battle plan begins tomorrow morning. And then we'll have our deciding battle with the Lord of Dreams and her allies. Other world heroes and uh, all of our companions. Let's all put our powers together and somehow win our way through. Yeah. Yes. Leave it to us. Ah, <laughs> oh, these guys. These guys. I'm telling you, Luca, don't go imitating the silent type heroes. Uh, right. Let's do our best tomorrow, too. So, it's decided. Tomorrow we start the battle. So tonight, let's rest ourselves well. But there's still time until we should go to bed for just a bit. Why don't we speak with our otherworldly companions? So we can talk with everybody. And that's interesting and all, but it would kind of drag this out. So, let's hurry up and get to the end of our video. Alright, let's get, let's rest ourselves well to prepare for tomorrow's battle. At the same time, the Demon Castle 2 Romanza. So it's come to pass that the seven heroes are aligned against us, it seems. Two of Laxley allowed them to gather. But it's nice that there's so much food gathered together. You can pick and choose and eat all you want. There were so many that seemed tasty.
were, were we the only ones who were working properly here? We captured the Shrine Maiden and accomplished the summoning of the Demon Castle. Do you want to say that we haven't been working? We were assaulting villages and spreading the territory of dreams. Who do you think that was, hmm? Do you want praise, Museth? You summoned the demon castle for all my sake. It was a great deed. Who would do that for you? Everything was in order to acquire control over Grand Noah. Are you saying that you would be satisfied controlling just Grand Noah? I thought that what we wanted was the entire world. And you three sisters yourselves. What are you truly after here? And don't try and tell me that you just want to work for the sake of the Lord of Dreams. There isn't anybody here who simply wants to work for the Lord of... who is simply exerting themselves for the Lord of Dreams. Amongst us, it's not master and servant. That's why we call it an alliance. We aren't an organization, nor are we a community. Our goals in this differ. And that is why we came together. Everybody, in the end, moving to follow the wishes of their heart. The Lord of Dreams, Est Morun, should know that as well. She is, even, pleased at that itself. Everybody is searching for something and chasing dreams. For that reason, the Lord of Dreams isn't even giving orders. The corrosion of the land of the night as well is being left to everybody's desires. With that as the cause, the fact that we can't get our these that these conversations come to no benefit is the problem. Just who is going to deal with these heroes? I am already sitting on my throne. It is they who should come seeking me. The three of us are even now up, the same as we have up to now, are spreading the land of the night. We are submerging people of the towns and villages into the, into the dream of pleasure. We, this time for sure, are going to beat down those heroes. Aren't we, big sis? Yes. As Ogre says. We do owe them a bit, after all. It seems like everybody, in the end, is going to do as they think they should. 
Well, in the end, the ones who end the heroes will be me, though. And after that, all of you. In the end, I'm plan. Let's plan for our exclusion. I want to avoid getting, avoid getting deeply inter, avoid deeply interfering in their plans. So they're all thinking about how much they hate each other, I guess. Our objective is to get our hands on that. If they get in the way, no matter who it is, we eliminate them. That is all. <laughs> the way we're weaved together like this. In this way, my beauty will naturally shine forth. Jeez. To think that this many knaves are gathered together. And in front of us, there's still one face that is yet to be shown. That vixen. Where is she and what is she doing? Hmm, good question. But that's chapter 10. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.